Continuing our conversation at four, we have the very merry Kyle Moreland with us, along with Kathleen Marker, CEO of the YWCA of Northeast Kansas, which is home to the Center for Safety and Empowerment. Kyle, you were saying for 18 years, you and your friends have been joining together. How did this start and how did you decide, you know what, well, we can make this bigger and better? Um, back in 2006, um, I had a couple different Christmas albums that I heard where uh, singers that I liked were writing a lot of their own music and uh, that kind of got me sparked to start writing my own and that was the same year that we started playing and then it kept getting bigger and better. And so you've chosen various charities over the years for your Christmas concert mm -hmm. to benefit. Yes. How correct. did you decide on the YWCA this year? Um, well, we, uh, I mean, Christmas for me, like, I like to think of the little twinkly lights that are just pushing back against the longest, darkest nights of the year. And uh, when we go to look for a charity to support, uh, YWA, YWCA fits the bill. They're, uh, they're out there on some of the deepest, darkest nights, you know, twinkling those lights and, and, um, and supporting people that are needing it the most. So. That's a very beautiful way to put it. And Kathleen, why does this come at such a good time for you? Uh, the Center for Safety and Empowerment specifically is what the concert will benefit, and that is a, a, a branch of your agency that assists victims of sexual and domestic violence and human trafficking. Yes, and so right now with the expansion of our shelter and adding an additional 30 beds, uh, resources are very important to us uh, because as we house more uh, survivors and victims, we also know that it's going to mean that we need more consumables for them. Uh, we need more food in our shelter. And so this is going to come in at a really good time uh, so that we can build up those resources for uh, the opening of our second shelter in second quarter. So we're due to be done with construction and remodeling at the end of March. The fact that you're adding 30 beds and adding a second shelter makes the answer maybe quite obvious, but how great is the need for those services? So I will tell you that for the last two months, we have been over capacity and we have been housing uh, survivors in motel rooms, which gets very expensive to do. It also logistically is a bit of a nightmare because you don't have everybody housed in one place. So making sure that they have food, that they can cook, in a hotel room in a small little mini kitchen and making sure that they are still able to visit with advocates. And so uh, just today I approved a couple more uh, hotel stays because we are not gonna leave anybody out uh, when they need to be in shelter. And especially this time of year, you're thinking about family and keeping families safe. So Kyle, for you, this is a family event. What yes. is all going to take place during your, your very merry evening? Well, obviously it's a concert, so there will be lots of music, but it's a little more than a concert. We have uh, special guests that visit us, um, and I like to keep it under wrap, but we usually have snow <laughs> every year. Uh, we usually have some uh, friendly barnyard creatures that uh, sing for us and sometimes dance for us. Singing and dancing barnyard creatures. Yes. Okay, I'm intrigued. Yes, so um, those are just, uh, sometimes Scrooge and Grinch stop by and heckle us, you know. We've had a, <laughs> we've had a lot of uh, different characters show up throughout the years, so and you, we should, you never know. And we should mention, this is not a real guitar. This is not a real guitar. Although it is making very musical bell noises right it now. It makes some bell noises. It only plays uh, one night a year. It only plays on the concert night. We plug it in and it, it rocks the house down, but uh, <laughs> all the other times it's just a guitar made of cardboard and, and, and duct, duct tape. tape. Yes. Red duct tape, that's why. <laughs> the very merry Kyle Moreland Christmas, the 18th annual benefit is at 6.30 this Friday evening at Serendipity in the North Topeka Arts District, 8.20. North Kansas Avenue specifically $10 for adults $5 for children because it is a family friendly event proceeds benefiting the <coughs> YWCA's Center for Safety and Empowerment Kyle and Kathleen thank you very much for being here and filling us in and for being so festive Kyle yes we love that <laughs> <laughs> an old-fashioned